it sunk in? I know we talked to you on the Zoom last week, but has it sunk in what you were able to do in the Big 12 tournament? Probably not. Um, I just wanted to go out there and do anything I could to help the team. And at the end of the week, that's what I was most excited to be able to do is to help put us in this position. And, you know, all the personal accolades, that's all great. But at the end of the day, we made it back to the regional, and that's the best part. What's your reaction when you saw the bracket reveal? It's a tough. It's a tough regional, but it's exactly where we wanted to be. You know, getting to go into Tallahassee, play a, a good group like that. You know, I know Coach Jarrett's going to have those guys ready. Alabama's got a great team. Stetson, you know, we've matched up against them twice this year, so looking forward to getting another shot at them. Uh, couldn't have asked for a better situation. You look at the last four in, first four out. UCF ended up being one of the last four in. And Cincinnati, the team you hit three home runs against, ended up being one of the last four out. When you kind of put that into, how does that kind of retextualize that, that Cincinnati game at, at Globe Life for you? We knew going into that game how big of a deal it was. We knew that that would probably have a big hand in the way the bubble played out. We knew beating them, push them further out, put us further in. And so to look back and see that it really did play that much of a role, um, awesome to be able to go get that one. I mean, right now the only team you're guaranteed to play is Alabama. You know, who knows if Florida State will play them or not, but there's a potential. Coach Jared, obviously, who you play for at Notre Dame, just what are your emotions of what could be a matchup against your former coach? I guess with another former coach is now your current head coach. Yeah, um, having played so many postseason games for Coach Jarrett with Coach Wallace in the dugout, and then you know the potential to be playing for Coach Wallace with Coach Jarrett in the other dugout, I'm sure that's going to be weird to look across and see him over there. But I'm excited. Like I said, I know he'll have those guys ready. They've got a great team, but so do we. So I would love to get a chance at them. Speaking about the last four in, if you don't, if you guys maybe don't get that win against Cincinnati, you guys aren't in the tournament, and the, that win was a big help to you getting three home runs in that game. So, what does that do to you, like personally, knowing that you helped the team get to this point? Uh, that's that's why I came here. I wanted to help this team get back to where we all know we belong, which is the postseason. And to see it play out in one specific game is really a privilege because we don't always get to see it work out that way in in the micro. So. To see that one turning point and see how I was able to help us, uh, obviously very proud of that, but certainly didn't do it on my own and never could have gotten here without everybody else. Of course, but the, the Big 12 turning, I'm at the Big 12 as a conference this year. How much did that kind of help prepare you guys for a lot of the things you were able to face going into the Big 12 tournament and going into the NCAA tournament? Yeah, playing in a conference full of talent like this is a huge advantage, um, which is, I think, why UCF made the move to the Big 12 because we knew what that would do for all of our athletic programs and we've seen it play out in year one here. Um, you know, we had some ups and downs, but playing such a talented conference schedule helps you and uh, when it comes to postseason time. And as you guys saw, we last four in, and I think that schedule had a lot to do with it. What does it say about Coach Wall's first year uh, as head coach of this team and taking this team back to an NCAA tournament? It's a massive accomplishment. Um, not an easy thing to do to show up with a new group of guys in a new conference and navigate your way through all those challenges. And it wasn't smooth sailing by any means. We you know, got swept in our first conference series and had to fight and fight all year. And he did a great job keeping us in it and helping us through it. And um, can't say enough about what he's done and the rest of the staff has done to get us ready. How's he a difference maker? He knows how to win. I mean, he's been at Notre Dame. He's been at other teams that have been in the postseason that have made postseason runs. Um, he's been in these situations for it. So he knows day to day what to tell us, how to get us ready, um, the moves to make in games. and. Great calming presence in the dugout. How much of that was was about chemistry? That we talked about bringing in different guys from different places, him himself coming from somewhere else. How much does he in his staff really help with the chemistry part, getting you guys to bond together this year? There's such a cohesiveness between the staff and the players. Uh, I would say it's unlike any team I've ever been on. I feel like all of us have such a great um, relationship with all of our coaches, whether that be the pitching coach, hitting coach. Um, they've all helped us so much in so many different ways. It makes it really easy come game day to get the job done when you are all on the same page all the time. Yeah, you might have been the last guy to join this team that you came here in January, right? Yep. So this, what does it mean to you to play your final season and to help you know, lead, you know, help Coach Wallace and lead the guys to a regional? Couldn't have asked for a better group of guys to play my last year with. Like you said, coming in here in January, of course, I was a little nervous about how I would fit in with these guys who had already known each other for so long. but. They welcomed me with open arms, and I really could not have asked for a better situation. So to get to go into battle one last time with these guys, uh, make a postseason uh, push, I'm really excited and really grateful for the opportunity. Dan, your biggest hurdle to move deeper into the regional and so forth? Is it the team? Is it a player? Or is it just the competition? What is the hurdle that it seems like you guys have to jump? I think everything 
steps up a level when you get to this type of competition. You know, everyone got there because they've earned it. And so you have to be really locked in from pitch one to the last pitch of the game. And every facet of your game has to be at its best. And we are certainly capable of doing that. And so it's just making sure that everything's fine tuned and that when that first pitch is thrown, we're all ready to go, locked in, and getting after it. Danny, you've proved it throughout the season and then obviously in the conference tournament. But just how confident are you that this team can go on the road and be successful? Very confident. Um, I've had the privilege of playing on teams that have made runs in the postseason, and I see a lot of similarities in this team and those teams. So many talented guys, such a close-knit group of guys, um, definitely have all the ingredients for, for success and just have to make sure that we bring it on game day. Dan. Side of one or two more. Danny, not only did you have the three home run record, but you also added your name into the Big 12 record book by getting hit by a pitches several times uh, at times to tie the Big 12 tournament record there. Between that, the all-tournament team, and the, I guess, the magnitude of this that tournament with your candidacy for the NCAA tournament, when you look back at your time in Globe Life Field for the rest of your life, how does it gonna, like, kind of feel for you? That was a pretty crazy week. Someone just asked me if I've you know come down from the emotional high of that week. and. I'm still trying to process everything that happened, like coming into a game with four home runs on the air and then hitting three in one game. Uh, it's a bit hard to fathom. So still trying to come to terms with how all that happened. But at the end of the day, just getting to go out there and help the team any way possible, like you said, whether it be hitting home runs or getting hit by pitches. Uh, grateful for the opportunity and really excited that I can help us get to where we are. One of the coach Wallace said in an in game interview during that Cincinnati game about taking advantage of opportunities. Obviously, you were able to take advantage of opportunities to get extra inning wins, but you'd still, but you know, team still had a lot of runners left on base. When you think about the offensive performance at the Globe Life, what could you see improvement on as you go into Tallahassee, where the competition could easily step, you take a, at least a little bit of a step up, even if the Big 12 tournament was very competitive as well? Well, Coach Wallace always tells us, you know, every game is going to play out in its own unique way. And so, you know, we left some guys on base in that Cincinnati game. But at the end of the day, whatever it takes to win the game, you have to do. And we were able to find a way in that one. And whenever we get into the regional in Tallahassee, whoever it be against, each game is going to sort of take its own form. And whether or not we leave a few guys on base or capitalize early, just got to fight our way through those things, find our way into big situations and make it count when it, when it counts. Thanks, Danny. Appreciate it. Thanks, Danny. Thank you. Thank you.